guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for Ultimate End Issue 3. Before I start talking about Ultimate End, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic You Know Episode 104, and that's the show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. And here are the exclusive comics. We got We Can Stand on Guard Issue 1, uh, Issue 1, Coven Issue 1, Batman Beyond Issue 2, Tales of Terror Issue 12, Barb Wire, Issue 1. Robin Hood Ongoing, Issue 12. Outcast, Issue 10. Giant Size Little Marvels, AVX, Issue 2. Princess Leia, Issue 5. Jupiter Circle, Issue 4. Um, American Vampire, Second Cycle, Issue 8. And Flash Season Zero, Issue 10. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic You Know, Episode 104. Also, guys, another update is that I'm going to San Diego Comic Con this weekend, or this week, so I will not have comic book reviews for next week. So, uh, but I will have try to put mini reviews up on Twitter or Facebook. That way you can hear my thoughts on the comics for that week. And also, that should be collected on uh, ComicFrontline.com. So be sure to check that out. Uh, but let's talk about Ultimate End, Issue 3. Um... Overall, I like the first issue uh, for this series, but been a little disappointed. This is the end of the Ultimate Universe, and I it's not exactly Brian B and Michael Bendis' best work, because uh, he has to fit so much in in just five issues, you know? Um, so, it is not as much of a, a focus on Ultimate Spider-Man, which is a bit of a shame, because obviously... That's the big driving force of Ultimate, of the Ultimate Universe. And a lot of things that are building before Secret Wars, you're not really seeing um, in Ultimate End. So that's a bit of a disappointment. Um, we have great artwork by Bagley for the cover. Uh, really, again, love the classic style of having these borders back. Very 2000 uh, um for the original throwback of Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, great, great artwork by Bagley. Um, really, really enjoy his art here. So I think he does a good job. And again, good throwback because he was the original art artist for Ultimate Spider-Man. So really like that. Um, but let's see what's going on with the story. So with this issue, we're exploring a bit more. Um, a bit more of why uh, Bruce Banner went all Hulk on the Grey Hulk, and it seems like it's not his fault, and of course you have the regular universe, 616 universe, going against um, Ultimate Universe a bit, uh, but really it's Nick Fury against everybody. He's like, I can't handle having two Tony Starks here. Uh, it's just go away. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of what the story's going through. Um, we get to see two Punishers, uh, you know, does he kill people, does he kill himself? And, uh, Bombshell might die because of Punisher for some reason. I don't know why he wants to kill Bombshell, but we'll have to see. And, uh, that's what's going on. It's kind of a slower issue, in my opinion. And I, I felt a forgettable issue. That's what I have to say about Ultimate End. Why it's been disappointing is that, you know, months from now, I don't know if I'll remember the Ultimate End story. And that shouldn't be. For the last Ultimate Universe story, I should remember it a bit more. Um... But there just hasn't been much happening in this series. Uh, you got Hulks fighting each other. Okay, seen that a thousand times. Uh, and then this, like, little political fight between Nick Fury and Iron Man. But not a lot going on overall. It's just them kind of, like, talking in a room a lot. And it's not really character development either. Um... I honestly love Ryan Michael Bendis' uh, stories when he actually just has two characters sit down in a room and talk. But it's not really like that. Uh, there's not a lot of, um, I guess, expression going on or a lot of talks that need to happen here between Nick Fury and Iron Man. Uh, it should be more about Miles Morales, the ultimate. You know, I feel like the, that's where the Ultimate Universe has been focusing on in the last couple of years. So why not focus on those characters? Instead, you go back to, you know, Iron Man, Captain America, and all these characters, which I think we've already gotten their story enough in the Ultimate Universe. So I want to see the younger heroes, where that was what the ulti Ultimate Universe was building off. Uh, so yeah, I've been a little disappointed overall about Ultimate End, and this was kind of a forgettable issue. I don't know if it's really worth picking up. There's not a lot that happens here. I, I won't say it's a filler, because yeah, there's stuff that happens, but not a lot of interesting stuff. So, Ultimate End Issue 3, for me, gets three stars. I thought it was kind of a lackluster issue. So hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the issue. Uh, this is Comic Uno. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, in the description below, there's links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.